Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and those who have embarked on the incredible journey of recovery. Today, I want to share a powerful lesson with you, a lesson that speaks to the heart of what it means to overcome adversity and achieve sobriety. It's a lesson I've learned from a story about some unlikely creatures, frogs. There's an imaginative story of a group of frogs having a wild party, dancing and reveling in their own joy. These frogs had a little too much to drink and their merriment knew no bounds. Can you relate? They were warned not to get too close to the ravine for the edge was perilous, but in the heat of their celebration, two frogs paid no heed to the advice. As one of the frogs ventured dangerously close to the ravine, disaster struck. Their foot slipped and in a desperate moment, they grabbed onto the other frog, both plummeting to the bottom. The frogs above looked down, helpless and distressed, watching their fellow frogs stranded at the ravine's base. For an hour, the fallen frogs tried to jump their way back up, each leap seemingly futile. The frogs above began yelling, urging them to stop, insisting that jumping was pointless. It's too late, they said. You might as well give up. One frog heeded their words and made his choice. Instead of continuously trying to jump out, he took one last leap further down, meeting a tragic end. But the other frog, something remarkable happened. Despite the noise, the discouragement, and the hopelessness of the situation, this frog refused to give in. He kept pushing himself, hop after hop, striving relentlessly. And miraculously, against all odds, he made it out of the ravine, emerging at the top. When he reached the summit, all the other frogs hopped over to him. And one of the onlookers exclaimed, I know him, he's my deaf cousin. This story carries a profound lesson about silencing the noise in our lives. It reminds us that we must block out our haters and naysayers, those who try to convince us that we shouldn't strive for sobriety. Just as the frogs yelled that jumping out was futile, there are voices in our lives that may attempt to discourage us from seeking a better, healthier future. So I ask you today, how can you keep hopping, metaphorically speaking, in spite of the noise? What relationships do you need to terminate? Those that only serve to hold you back? Who do you need to stop discussing your plans with if they consistently undermine your progress? You see, your journey to sobriety is like the determined frog's climb out of the ravine. It may seem challenging, even impossible at times, but it is within your reach. You have the power to overcome adversity and silence the noise of doubt and discouragement. Sobriety is waiting for you but it requires the strength to drown out the voices that tell you it's unattainable. You have the power to overcome adversity and silence the noise of doubt and discouragement. Sobriety is waiting for you, but it requires the strength to drown out the voices that tell you it's unattainable. You have the resilience, the determination, and the unwavering spirit to achieve it. Remember, it's not about the noise around you. It's about the strength within you. Believe in yourself. Believe in your capacity to overcome addiction and believe that like the persistent frog, you can rise above any challenge. So will you do it? Will you silence the noise and take those leaps towards a brighter, sober future? I believe in you. And I know that you have the power to make it happen. Thank you for allowing me to share this message with you today. 
May you find the strength to keep hopping, keep pushing, and keep believing in your journey to recovery.